Well, uh, it's a it's somewhat autobiographical film. It, it, all of the events in the story come from my life or um, the life of my family or dreams that I had or diary entries I, I wrote down. I have um, been learning Persian in slow motion for about 10 years. Um, and I can read it and write it and speak it sort of, a, I don't know, like a very slow child. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, my, my Persian in the film is better than it is in life, but so too is my mustache better in the film than it is in life. Um, <clears throat> but, um, but it was really amazing. I was surrounded by a wonderful group of uh, amazing Iranians who um, uh, worked, we all worked together on it. And, and uh, methodology was, was really important. The idea was to create uh, some kind of brain. What we did here was to um, uh, create this Quebecois, Iranian, Winnipeg brain. Uh, and, and, the, and the brain was really well calibrated on this movie and uh, the brain was able to produce thoughts. <laughs> yes, um, every day. Um, it was uh, it was an everyday dialogue, an everyday conversation. And um, I, again, I, the movie is very much a hybrid one. It's sort of merging cinematic languages of Winnipeg, Tehran, and Montreal. And it's not really about any one of those places. It's it's about this strange melding of all three. But yes, there are many discoveries, not only for me, but for the crew. We were all learning about each other. Uh, I was dialoguing with Iran through all of my Iranian colleagues. And similarly, they were dialoguing with Winnipeg through me. Yeah, as far as the challenges are concerned, yes, it's tricky. On the set, there were three languages being spoken constantly. Uh, Farsi, English, and French were sort of in this endless cycle. Uh, well, it's really wonderful for it to be here. It's really wonderful to show it on such an enormous platform. There, there's something that cinematic language can do which we can't do in our very divided statehoods. And I feel like during uh, during the you know uh, corona in in particular um, we we somehow became very rigid I remember at the beginning of that pandemic there was all these very there was great idealistic longing about what the world would be like at the end of this and but I feel like we've sort of emerged with all these new Berlin walls that have shot up all around and um, and we have sort of the world feels very much more binary than it did before. And so this, the gesture, the creative gesture of this film is to try to create a space where we are part of a common story to some degree. Solitude can be really great. There's, a, there's good reason for there to be solitude and, uh, and I'm, I'm pro-solitude, but uh, the idea of this space was a community. It was trying to create a new community and a new language uh, out of this, this, uh, this merging of, of, of all of us.